installing these wells is part of a research project. It's part of a wetland EPA uh, Region 3 wetland program development grant. And this grant we've had for a few years, and most of it focuses on valuing wetland ecosystem services. So going out and doing condition assessments, figuring out some of the um, the details for wetland functions such as storage, water storage, and flood capacity and all that. Um, in addition to promoting the value of wetland ecosystem services because they do provide so much to us and there's a value, you know, there's a price tag to all of those services that they provide. So this is one aspect of this grant where we're going to be installing these wells in this riverine wetland and as I mentioned in a Ted Harvey wildlife area and a flat wetland system and then monitoring the data for, for coming out of the wells for years to, uh, to be able to make the calculations on water depth and water storage and all of that. So the whole point of this is to monitor groundwater. So we're gonna dig this hole all the way down until we hit water. I hit something soupy. So there are three here. They'll all be look like just spread out by, you know, 20, 30 meters. And so we can kind of take an average of those, right? Yeah. And then this will be for a riverine site. And then what we installed last week was for a flat wetland. What? So similar information of just how much water is there and then throughout the seasons how does that change and how much is it holding? Basically look at flood flood control, just how much water is being absorbed in this wetland. And uh, we should be able to look at the kind of the time span of that as well. So if we get a rain event, we should see the water levels go up in our wells and then we can look at the stream gauge as well and see what the peak is on that and see how much water is being retained. Again, putting a value on this wetland and this wetland type because we're telling people, you know, we're trying to get across the message that wetlands really hold in floodwaters and help um, mitigate downstream flooding by soaking up that water and releasing it slowly. And so there are some figures out there about wetlands in general and how much they can hold for how deep they are by wetland type too, but this is specific for Delaware and this wetland type. Our hole all the way down to groundwater. So this is gonna go into a certain point. So we're gonna place this into the hole and then we're gonna fill around it with fine gravel, almost sand, to kind of hold it in place. And as Andy mentioned, that fine gravel is also gonna filter particulates out of the water so it doesn't clog up the, the slits in the PVC. Really fine gravel, it's number one. It's almost sand, but not quite. So we want the post to be level, mm -hmm. like straight up and down from yeah. the ground. <laughs> So that when the water runs down, it's going, you know, we're not measuring sideways groundwater. Just <laughs> vertical. So this is a type of bentonite. Uh, the brand that we got is called Ben Seal. Uh, basically, once this gets wet, it'll turn into a nice, uh, it's a type of clay. And it'll turn into a nice, smooth, solid clay layer. Um, and the whole point of this layer is that we're really looking at groundwater. So we're looking at water that's down below the surface that's filtering in. So when we get a rain event, we don't want to have water running straight down our pipe and then messing up our data, our groundwater data. So in this well, we're actually going to put two of these loggers in. Uh, one will be down in the groundwater and then one we're going to put right at the top of the well. The way they work is they actually just read pressure. So we need one above water level at each of our sites that we do to uh, measure the barometric pressure so that we can calibrate them to then equal out to water level depths. So the idea is just to get the distance get the, the reader right at the bottom um, of the hole and then the tip on the PVC will is there just in case any uh, any sediment does collect inside and won't mess up our readings and that's it it's already turned on so when we come out to check this we'll unlock this unscrew this pull it out and take off the cap and then it uh, connects to a little a little reader that hooks our computer and just sends the data right over. So it only takes about a minute to download all the data, drop it back in the hole and it keeps reading. It is a long-term project. So really getting uh, the, the values that we're hoping for will take probably a couple of years, but we just um, installed wells at the, you know, the hardwood flat site last week, and then we had a large rain event. So we could already see data just from that one rain event because um, you know, as Andy mentioned, there are stream gauges nearby and that's, that's how partially how we chose this location. So we can go back and look at the rain event and look at the water levels in the well and you know make a correlation there.